The patients may not be real, but the training is. Today, 25 local students with I Am Able Foundation trained with doctors and staff at Advocate Christ Medical Center. The black and brown students are often the first in their families to consider pursuing a career in medicine. James Wells IV is a senior at Lindblom High School. He says he wants to care for his family and others. I want them to know that when I get older, I'll be able to take care of you, not just as a son, but as somebody I can really make a change for you. And then once I become a doctor, I want to give back to my community personally so I can make sure everybody feels better. They're learning how to place IVs. They're learning how to intubate. Dr. Chinella Okafor is the DEI director at Advocate Children's Hospital. She says more black and brown care providers are needed. It's a little shocking and surprising that we still have these disparities starkly. And this is just another way, another route of trying to mitigate some of those um, inequities. Dr. Lamenta Sweetie Conway created I Am Able. I'm inspired because I'm looking at these amazing kids and they're not just going to be doctors. They're going to be change makers. They're going to change the world. They're going to bring healing. And that's what we're here for. Tiffany Hicks starts medical school in the fall. Her experiences as a young cancer patient motivated her to go into this field. Oh, I don't want anybody to feel like this. I want to be able to step in the, the, you know, step in the gap for patients. And really, no matter what the color was, just to step in for them to let them know that a physician cared and that they can depend on somebody. This is the second year advocate has hosted I Am Able students for simulation training. But year round, the foundation is offering mentoring and support to bring more black and brown doctors into the industry to assist in their careers, but ultimately to improve patient outcomes for all. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.